Alright, this is Mother Felicity Dat, and today we have a look at June's Marvel Collector's Core crate, and it is Woman of Power. So, yeah, in the cover you have Spider Gwen on the top. Uh, a bit more rough. Packages a uh, dent in the corner. Not too bad, a little dent here. But, eh. Most of these boxes come in decent condition, so that's fine. I mean, as long as it doesn't damage the products inside. It's all you hope for. Your packages don't get messed up in the mail. Okay. So, this package will feature Spider Gwen and a couple of other women in Marvel that have given prominence in here. Let's light it up a bit. So you see that there is Black Widow on the front, the top with the the new Thor, Lady Thor, with Captain Marvel, uh, Spider Gwen, She Hulk. There's a couple more down on the side. There's a weird sticker here. It's from a stray piece of packaging. Whatever. In here we have Miss Marvel on the collector's core patch. The hair looks a bit iffy, but it's a pretty good representation of her. Then the pin is Spider Woman. That's cool. So, ooh. opening this up, there's her already. This thing. Here, yes. So, it comes with a preview. This is what comes with the boxes now, but here is a preview of the next one, the August box, which is uh, Spider Man themed. And here, it talks about how we start the second year off with uh, Captain America Civil War, which they released the. Uh, months ago which you can see at collectorscore.com let's have a preview of what's inside the box right now and that arm is from spider woman so let's see here for june marvel's woman of power so here's a spider gwen shirt you see right here it's pretty cool so here's a nice uh look at the design of it because of my space, I can't really move the camera around too much, and usually the shirts that come in loot crates and the Marvel DC crates don't get enough spotlight in the um, video as I would like it to. But here are the other concepts for the crates. So there's another Spider Gwen using more. Uh, it's a full body shot, as opposed to the other two, which has Electra and Captain Marvel as Funko Pops. Oh, and there's uh, a product box in here with that could have either uh, Captain Marvel or She-Hulk on it. That's interesting. We'll find out which one we'll get. And here, I saw it under the shirt, but here's a cover of the first issue of Civil War II with the Funko Pop uh, woman characters on it. So you have anyway, that's weird. You have Carol Danvers' version of Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel on the same page. Which seems weird to me. But there's Spire Woman, there's Sylph, or you know, Valkyrie, Electra. There's a Squirrel Girl and her Squirrel Tippy Toe pop duo. That's interesting. And the pin. And patch. Let's get a better look at the t-shirt. 
so this should be interesting. So if you wanted a closer look, so here's Spider Gwen in her hoodie part, and it has Spider Gwen above it, and, and you can see the, the outline of my camera perfectly. See where my head is. So I'm never really centered with it, but yeah, I can't help that. So yeah, the first issue of Civil War II, which is the ongoing thing they have, but. It's odd that they couldn't include another character because I know Marvel Funko Marvel's Funko line has more than five characters that are women in their line. It's weird. They couldn't include a squirrel girl or something. I mean, I mean, it's interesting. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, they included both. Okay. Well, here's there's Unmasked Spider Gwen on the side here, along with the Medusa. So let's take a look at these two. So they're the mystery minis. Not much of a mystery because we know what they are, She-Hulk and Captain Marvel. It's interesting, they include both. Which is kind of cool. I mean, if you haven't read the, the like, the Zero issue for Civil War 2 and the first issue, you know what happened. These two characters, which is yeah. So let's open up Captain Marvel's first. And since this is, I'm assuming it's an exclusive, right? Yeah, exclusive for the for the Marvel Court, whatever. So you only get. Captain Marvel and She-Hulk, and so we get both of them in here. So, let's see. I'm trying to open this without destroying the damn packaging again. But yeah, they still use the blind pack style, even though you know what it is. So, feels like they kept it as one piece, there's no accessories to it or a face. Yeah. So, you have the mini bobblehead of Miss Marvel. Um, the face. Looks alright. The hair is swept back, back. Her hands are on fire and ready to fight. The, they are... They show the fist as translucent. And here it's not the case here. It's just molded. Because if you see fruit, you can see where the thumb is right now. So they basically blobbed it on to make it more translucent, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't matter to me that much, but uh, from what I can see, the paint apps line up pretty well. Uh, it's a little bit won't focus because, you know, it's, it's focusing on stuff in the back. There's a little bit of paint in this half around the edge of the gold part on the belt, but that's fine. It's mostly on the underside. Um, you have the trademark things on both of her boots and sit down just fine. So let's look at She Hulk's. Yeah, let's see a good place to edge it in. Again, open this up with that. Oh, that was easier. 
You have She Hulk. This very nice. Uh, Pain apps are better. I mean, I am worried about the white. Okay, not oh, well. <coughs> you can see here, like, between the legs for the under part. of this suit doesn't match uh, meet together perfectly like they did the back and the front but it doesn't meet together in the middle quite good I mean they could have gone over with a thinner brush and tried to clean that off but I don't know it's just minor gripe I mean boots are pretty well it's a bit thick on the bottom you see the wording There, there we go. maybe if I have both of them on here. That the wording on this is much more blocked off on this. Like, come on, focus on the words. The words. Focus on the word. Uh, whatever. No, well, this is more thicker, so you can't really see the words. But on this side, it fares better because it's just a big marvel on it, so that's. Cool. Both of them over here next to each other, BFFs, and have the other, right? And they both fell down. So, inside there is more Black Widow, another Spider Gwen. I have no idea who the person on the bottom of the image is. No, Black Cat, Black Cat. And there's a symbol headshot of Spider Gwen. The bottom of that. On the side, it is more Lady Thor. In here, number 144, the exclusive Marvel Collector's Core Squirrel Girl Dual Pack. And as you read in the overview thing, it comes with a squirrel uh, tipsy top, which is not the first two squirrels. It's like the third or fourth squirrel she's paired up with, I'm not sure. Here you can see um, uses it the current uh, series, the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. So you see uh, Spider Gwen, She Hulk, Captain Marvel, Spider Gwen in two variants: the un fully unhooded one and the unmasked one. With number one fifty four being the masked version, where she has the mohawk. Hello. Yeah. So I'm assuming that 145, 49 through 151 are male uh, pops. It's weird that they group them together like that. But let's open it up. Open it up. Well, let's take a look at Squirrely. So, even though it's a small figure, it does not come with a bobblehead function, but the head is loose, so you can turn it around. Although the bow up here conflicts with turning the head more, because it's at an angle, so that means you can move it towards here more. So, I'm assuming Tippy Top is a girl squirrel. Because I don't remember. <laughs> so, putting her over here. And squirrel Girl. This is the uh, new costume of Squirrel Girl. See, she has the squirrel head thing on, the acorn earring. See, her. Um, 
outfit with a jacket and a belt. So leggings, boots, and gigantic squirrel tail, which is it feels like a, a solid. You know, it's a hollow piece up here, but down here, it's solid. You can see how it's split into two parts right here. So this is the solid part that goes attached to it. This is the hollow part to cut cost, I guess. Although, uh, Funko Pop had better quality where they can slide this on without being it too noticeable. But you can see it's definitely a two-piece tail here. Um, because of the tail, the body itself is at an angle where the head is straight on. Her body is doing like the three quarters turn. So if you want it straight, it'd be more like that, which is weird. So it's weird. Yeah. She bobbles like crazy. And that is. <laughs> the Marvel Collector's Core. Next month, we will have the regular monthly edition of Blue Crate and the DC, the Legion of Collectors Crate, which I do not remember what the theme is. Um, it's something with the comic book series that's ongoing over there, but anyway. Uh, if you like this, check out my other reviews. I will try to keep them as interesting as possible. But um, this is Mofo See That, and I will see you guys later.